nothing like a matcha moment. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another video. This time we're doing things a little different. I have never done this before. So please learn from the many mistakes I made along the way. I kept them in this video purposely. This has been six months in the making, over seven and a half hours of footage. I don't even know how many countless days I spent working away to update this place. But if you're in the same process as me, looking to elevate your place a little bit, because honestly, initially I was looking to move out, but when I saw how high the rent was for this exact square footage, I said, mm, I'm gonna stay. Rent in Toronto is ridiculous. I don't know, what does this city offer? If you live in the six, let me know what you love about this city. And if you live elsewhere, do you think the rent is proportionate to what your city offers? I'm just here puzzled. <laughs> anyway, I did three major things to update this space, all of which are renter friendly, affordable, and relatively easy to do. No crazy construction in this video. I really wanted to, but then I thought, you know what, girl, remember that you're legally blind and we do not have the time to be mashing up people's places. So let's just keep it low key, relatively easy, and affordable. With the caveat that things can ex get expensive real, real quick. So mind the mistakes I made along your way and you'll be okay. So let's get into it. But first, before we move on to the big things, the little things matter too. I'm going to swap out, mm, let's keep this towel actually, but I will swap out my old dish rack for this one. Now on to the updates. We are starting off with a privacy screen because I mean, you see how close that building is to me. I might not be able to see over there, but I'm sure the people who live there can see into my unit and I need a little privacy. So we're gonna use this reflective privacy screen that's supposed to allow me to see out, but them not to see in. First tip, if you're gonna use this, also go ahead and buy the $10 squeegee on Amazon, not use your hands like me. Save yourself the struggle, honestly. This was the first fail, and luckily the rest are not as bad. Can you see why I haven't had a screen protector on my phone in three years? This is so tricky. She didn't learn her lesson the first 10 times. It's even bigger. What the hell? Literal nightmare. All these little bubbles. You see that? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Let's hope this one's nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Frosted windows. Look at the timing. A contractor came today to finally cover up the silicone. But riddle me this, white paint, but my place is beige. I mean, when I first came to see the place, it was an even amount. And then they said they're raising it 50 bucks because they had to do renovations. All they did was paint it beige. I guess that counts as a renovation. But anyway, to see what this frosted window is saying, what do you think? Hopefully I don't mash it up as much as I did the other one the other night. I didn't, I couldn't, just let it be, okay? It's so beautiful and it's so well done. I mean, sometimes you just gotta enlist someone. A little help never hurt no one. <laughs> Grade number two, the countertops. Before we get into that, here's a little haul. Seriously, what is this? I went out in the cold earlier this year to get a wider one in person in store. And I thought, no, everyone said on Amazon they're gonna have the longer one. I measured it out. Then people lied. This is not gonna cover the surface I need. <sighs> Somebody pray for me. You know what it means to be legally blind? Take out a tape measure, zoom in to make sure you have the measurements right and still get shipped something small. Mm -hmm. Stay positive. Ooh, if I could pick it up to show you, maybe I'll just change the angle. How about that? Cue the B-roll. There are so many more slats in here than I thought there would be, which I mean explains why it's so heavy. So this might actually this might actually work. Work, 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 work. Special delivery. Look at all these Amazon boxes. I got boxes on boxes on boxes and I still have one in the cut over here. Ooh, tape's coming off. To go back, I told myself 
that I would be done two Sundays ago. And here's another Sunday, a new week, and still packages. So let me just push these to the other, the other side to show you what we have. Books, Marcel. Boom, 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 boom. This is another roll. Surprise, surprise. Do you see? This is way shorter than it's supposed to be. Hello. Hopefully it still covers what I need it to cover though. The biggest box, so big that it busts up. Oh my gosh, this is harder, heavier than the... Oh. Nexus planks. They're so wrong for putting this little thing in this big box. Like that for now, so it's easier to take out. Please God, on this good Sunday, let these be the right color, because they don't look good from this side. Okay guys, this is not white oak. This is the same rotted gray as before. So they lie, these people. I might have an eye disease, but I can clearly see that this is not white. This is gray. Time to tackle these countertops, but first I have various rolls and I highly recommend buying a few so you know what finish and color you prefer. This pattern right here is A1. We did it. The only problem is it's not long enough. Wide enough, but not long enough. Also, <laughs> it's not glossy. The other ones are super shiny. This one, not so much. I think it can barely cover over here. So I either have to order another roll or go with one of the older ones. What do you think? Let's get it. First, we gotta clear off the countertop and also clean it too. We have to work with a clean surface, especially if your contact paper is thinner. This requires all the patience that you've ever had in your whole life, but the results are so worth it. Whoa. As long as you go slowly and you're willing to redo a section one or two times, you'll be fine. This is the part where you get really meticulous. Right where the wall meets the table, things get a little tricky. But as long as you go slow, you'll be okay. As close as possible. It looks so much better ready, but we're not done. You see how it's two-toned. We gotta do something about the sides. I really enjoyed doing the cupboards, covering the shelves, and the result, because it looks so much better. definition of insanity is doing the same thing many times expecting a different result that's what's happening right here you see all these attempts so beautiful isn't it this only took me two hours and look at this mess if I knew how to be angry angry, I would be so angry for the time I wasted on this, I could finish editing my vlog. At least I tried, you know? At least I tried, but this? Sweet Jesus, are you serious? Home improvement channels make this seem so easy when it really isn't. And it really, 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 really isn't. I wish I could blame the blindness on this, but this ish is just hard. I don't care what anybody says, but try an X-Acto knife around this oval-shaped sink. This ain't it, because this contact paper was $90, and I used half of it. Frustration does not begin to describe it's time to take a break and do the sides, which were so much easier. And all you gotta do if you're covering doors is remove the handles and then poke the nail through when you screw it back in. Don't forget to fold those corners over. Oh, you put it in your 
like a squeegee. I'm never going to be able to do this. Have you done this around a sink like this before? No. Final result. Doesn't that look so much better? Yes. The white is not quite right. I see that three times fast. I mean, this is like stark white. This is off white. This is, I don't know. It, we're not going to go there. I still don't know if I'm going to waste money getting different fixtures. I think we're doing too much at this point already but it's so pretty i mean as long as it kind of matches the backsplash we'll see when it's done i just feel like it's gonna be a little mix match do i have to paint these off white then oh my gosh i'm not doing that we're not doing that are we doing that what is this material like fiber plywood I don't know. It's my turn to try doing around the sink area. I started off in the corner. I figured it'd be best to cut one square for over there and then have it join around where the sink meets. It'd be so easy if I could just lift up the sink, but who has time for that? So instead, what we're gonna do is carefully cut around the sink and almost undercut so that we can trim more later if needed. Once you overcut and you see the gap between the sink and the countertop, it's done. I had to push and pull out the oven a few times and slide the contact paper in. Once we get closer to the other side of the sink, we're gonna do the same thing and overcut, then go back with the X-Acto knife. And it's done. It wasn't as hard as I thought, but this took me three hours. Three hours. Finishing touches is putting a little more contact paper on the countertop that meets the backsplash. Ow! Corners and angles. I just don't know how to do this. Like I'm in a cubby. <laughs> <sighs> uh, seriously? Here goes me trying to MacGyver the situation. You know what's so weird? This on the roll looked really nice, but now on the countertop, it kind of makes my counter look more old. You know what I mean? Like it makes it look, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but. Oops, not that part. This here's. Okay, okay, I don't need hot water just yet. It's just not giving for me. Upgrade number three is the biggest ROI you'll see in a second. Oh, this mat is good quality, what? It actually has like the squishy squishy on the back, so hopefully it doesn't move. It's a nice color too. I actually really love this. Satisfied customer. Now that my excitement for the mats are out of the way, let's start to lay the flooring down to see how it looks. I don't know how I feel about this shade of gray. I feel like it's gonna wash out my furniture. If I had a million one things to do, I would have made it a stay in bed kind of day, but when do I ever get those, let's be real. Finally, my package arrived. Let's hope it's right this time. The Amazon guy was like, I need a passcode in order to give it to you. I was like, passcode? I never heard of no passcode before, have you? I couldn't find my email. He gave it to me anyway, but let's see, hope and pray. Pray and hope that it's right this time. What is this, the third or fourth time? Is it right? It's going to the light. No! It's the same one again, how is this possible? Just like with the contact paper, you wanna start off with a clean surface, which means sweeping, swiffering, mopping, whatever you need to do, move things out of the way so that you can start in a corner. I chose this corner because it was the most complicated. Might as well start with the hardest part first. I'm putting the tiles right against the wall. That way, every tile that comes after this one that I stagger is even and aligned. You can decide how much you want your tiles to stagger if you want them in a completely different design. They have a few examples on the back of the box. One thing I wish I knew before I started doing the flooring is how important it is to lock everything in. 
Make sure you keep pressing it down and that it's flush with the last piece you put down. softer than this but this why did the sun go away just when I wanted to color compare look at that help me pick the color can you even see me I'm too short for this there's part of the floor that I can't cover with this but it can't be the color of the what is that thing called now that we got what we needed let's head back home I'm putting down some tape first so that I can paint freely without having to worry about the other side of the flooring just covering this ledge because if I didn't it would look not good just not good if you don't have a ledge in your apartment you can just skip this part but I wanted to make sure everything was uniform when that dries I'm gonna finish up putting the tiles flush against it in the meanwhile, I'm going to redo some areas that I haven't done and finish off the rest of my apartment. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. This way. Two packages. Two plus two equals 400 in this equation. That's a lot of money to waste. I ordered some more today and I don't even know if I should cancel the order because I don't want to waste the time. The way my butt hurts, I'm like, how does my butt hurt from doing flooring last night? Well, truth be told, this took two nights, which is why I stopped showing you. Cha, <sighs> this is too much. <sighs> Let's work on something else today. What should we work on today? Oh wait, nothing's arrived in the mail that we work on. Upgrade four, lighting. This was my favorite and you'll soon see why. This is the first of three lightings that I tried. It's given dorm vibes. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep this one, but let's move around and see if we can make it work. Mm, you know what? We'll wait until the sun sets and we'll try the kitchen. Where's my lights? <laughs> I was gonna send it back with the tiles they were supposed to pick up today, but no one ratatata on my door, so okay. We're gonna keep these then. I was not about to do the whole print a label, struggle to send it back type of thing. So if they're not picking up, that's on Amazon. Only what, 20 something dollars? So I mean, I'll take the L. The only thing is I need two of these, one for each. I don't know whose idea was to have two without a plug. Why wouldn't you give two plugs? I'm very perplexed. This is purple? This can't be purple guys, ain't no way. Let me turn on the light. Not here. This does not look purple. Da, 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 da. If you didn't know, purple is my favorite color. The plug is over there, but we can also use the plug here. But it's gonna look so. It doesn't even fit. Why did this look so ghetto? Is not giving as much. From this eye level, whereas if it's here, you can't see it. Will it blind me? So many elements to think about. <laughs> Joe Bunn is gonna still talk about my white fridge, but hey, this is a nice little upgrade. Okay. Have two. It's brighter this way. Maybe I should go to YouTube University to know why there's two. Mm, it's not for me. Well, at least we tried. On to the next one. Ta -da! I ordered this last night. Hey. Please God, please God, please God. Let this one work. Place this order less than 12 hours ago. Houseway. Make it make sense. Thank the drivers, the packers, the people who do the forklift stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So how am I supposed to charge these? Do I like clip them on and then attach them off every time I need to charge them? I turn it off though, bro. I am struggling so hard today. I'm just making sure it doesn't ring. I have really good hearing and I don't want to hear no ringing like I did with the other one. This set seems promising. Fingers crossed, this is actually the third lighting I bought. The second one wasn't even worth showing you. Strobe light party, okay, stop playing. But I am gonna play with the placement. Do you like this? Or that. I'm not quite sure which looks better and we only got two so let's start with this 
first and we can order more later. I love the lighting. I felt like it made a huge difference. And why is it the simplest thing was my favorite thing. I guess that's how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like. And until next time, love and later.